them outside. They can't hold it. You know where they go, three thousand tourists. And when a hundred and twenty taxi pass outside, it's chaos. It's chaos. Taxi associations in St. Vincent and the Grenadines met in an emergency meeting last night to discuss a draft document that they say has the potential of ruining their livelihood. With this year's tourism season set to begin at the end of next month, this draft policy by the SVG Port Authority seeks to implement several new measures for taxi operators operating at the Kingston Cruise Terminal. Winston Pops Morgan, president of the SUG Taxi Association, said that both taxi associations were only informed of the document yesterday and told that they should print and bring it to a meeting scheduled for this morning with the Tourism Minister, Cecil Mackey. I forward the document through the chat that my association has, only to realize that Port has put in it their intention to charge each and every taxi driver $450 to come on the compound. We're not sure if we can get get jobs. In addition to paying a seasonal fee of $450 per vehicle to operate at the cruise terminal from November to April, the draft policy also outlines a dispatch system where the SVG Port Authority will employ dispatchers to communicate with visitors on behalf of the associations. Furthermore, only 40 spaces will be allocated at the cruise terminal for taxi operators, which will be filled from a rotation list consisting of no more than 120 taxi operators. Together, both associations currently have 174 members. And you have now an increase in travel. You have boats come with 3,000 plus passengers, right? Why is, why is the port and tourism trying to minimize the amount of persons who can come here to get a job? When it is the only time that taxis get reasonable jobs. Arrington Bergen, the president of the SOG Professional Taxi Association, is calling for unity on this matter, which he said can potentially harm the tourism sector. If we as a taxi driver decide that we're not adh adhering to anything, and I think everything that was said here, it is real unreasonable. It is just unreasonable. And we're going to do our best tomorrow. We have the discussion with them and see where we go from there and let tourism know that if this is what they want, I guess they'll have to have no, they'll have to get different taxi drivers. But we will not operate. In Bergen said that the associations are hoping that today's meeting can result in a decision that sees the current way of operations remaining as is, with the tourism authority and the port authority working with the associations as a unit. If we are building tourism, we must build together. Unity is strength. I don't want us as taxi operators to to create a problem for the country. I don't want tourism to create a problem for the country because that is a, a vibrant entity for us in Sydney and Grandins. And to go forward, we must work together and we must be reasonable. Today's meeting regarding the draft document is scheduled for 9.30 a.m. at the NIS conference room. I am Bria King, reporting for Searchlights on the Move.